Ford 10R80 10 speed automatic transmission tear down to CDF drum. The only thing I've done is pull it out of the truck and slide the torque converter out. Okay. There's the torque converter sitting on a dirty table. And there's the truck. This is an F-150 transmission, 10 speed, and it is, the symptoms are a strong delay into second, fourth, and sixth when it's cold. The first thing I'm gonna do here is on these uh, stupid shields on the side, I'm gonna break these bolts, or excuse me, these nuts loose by hand, all six of them. That's going to mitigate the chance of the nut getting stuck to the stud. If you don't do this, when you back the nut off, if you just use an impact or something, it will likely pull the stud out with it, and that's going to be not fun. There's one. Two. Fast forward. Six. Set these aside. I like to mark the locations of the studs to make sure I put them on in the right spot again. Okay. And then there's the two on the bottom right here. Those are easy to remember, but yeah, I'll mark them just for demonstration purposes. Utilizing a mid-deep 13. You can also use a deep 13. I'm going to pull the studs off. All six of them. They're all off now, the studs. Now I'm gonna get the eight millimeter bolts off. I'm gonna start at the bottom in case it starts leaking everywhere. Starting to drizzle. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these bolts out. Keep going here. Gonna let that drain a minute. No, I lied. I'm gonna be impatient with it. And that's what you get. Got it halfway cleaned up for now. I'm gonna get the last four bolts out of the pan. By the way, if I had, I don't think I explained, a CDF drum, which is what I'm tearing down to replace, is a drum in the transmission that is issue prone. It has a bushing on it that rotates and blocks uh, passages for fluid to go through and apply clutches, so that's why there's hesitation. This is the filter I'm taking out now. It's held in with two bolts. And it has a little uh, grommet that pushes into the front pump here, and it's still on the filter here. Let that drain a second. Next, I need to go ahead and get this auxiliary pump out right here. So, there's this feed tube right here, this one 8 millimeter bolt here. Keep this bolt with the tube because it's a little different on the end and you want to put it in the same spot. There's a make sure that seal's in good shape right there. And also make sure this seal on the end here is in good shape. Next, there are going to be three Torx 30 screws holding this pump on right here, right here, and right here. Take those bolts out and then disconnect that connector. Okay. No, don't do it. <laughs> okay, that is out. And now I'm going to disconnect the valve body, pull the red tab down, and push the re release mechanism right here, the green tab. Alrighty. 
At this point, get your 8 millimeter ready. And you're going to need to remove, I believe it's, it is eight bolts. Um, and they will have arrows pointing at them. See, there's an arrow there. These are the bolts that hold the valve body to the case. And there's another one right here. There's another one right here. And here. This will be easier on certain year models because the screws that you don't take out are going to be a different size head. Um, here we go. I'm going to leave that one in for last. Um, but go ahead and get these bolts out for now. All right, one second. Okay, down to that last one right there. This is a very messy job to be holding a camera for. I'm going to back this out a little bit and let it drain. And I'm going to actually let it drain this time. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Certain 10-speed models will have a manual valve of sorts. That's what I'm going to call it, but it's it will be a uh, rod that lines up with a pivot that's in the transmission. This one does not have it, but it would be here. And you just have to be sure to line that back up when you go back together. But without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and off camera, pull this bolt the rest of the way out and take the valve body, pull it straight out. No special tricks there. Nothing's going to come flying out behind it. it literally, you just pop it right out. And when you go back in, you just need to line it up and you'll feel the dowels pop into place. Valve body's out. And here's the dowels I'm talking about. One is right here and the other is right here. When you slide it into position here, you'll feel them kind of notch into place. You just need to line it, the valve body up and you'll feel it. But at this point, the next step is to remove the front pump. It's held in with one, two, three, and... Normally there will be a fourth bolt on the bottom here. For some reason it appears this model doesn't come equipped or there's one missing. I'll figure that out for you. But uh, yeah, take these eight millimeter bolts off right here. Gonna need both hands here. Okay, those three bolts are out. There we go. There's your front pump. And it does appear that there's only three bolts holding this one on. Like I said, normally I have C4 on these and the other one's like on the bottom here. Uh, but this one does not have that. Anyway, moving on. The next thing I'm going to do here is uh, remove the bolts for the spe uh, speed sensors here and set the sensors aside. Okay, so they should stay attached to the sensors, the bolts, so you can just pull them out and set them aside. There you go. Next I'm going to come up top here and remove the front support bolts here, the 10 millimeter bolts all the way around. I kind of blew all this debris out, but there's there was a lot more debris in here, so it's uh, cleaner than it was. Fast forward. All right, all the bolts are loose. These bolts. Uh, some some of them come with seals on them. You want to replace the seals, but these have uh, uh, silicone on them, so you just want to replace the bolts or clean them and put new silicone on. Transmission RTV. This is a warranty repair, so I'm replacing the bolts. What a waste. <laughs> All right. I always put new bolts in on non-warranty repairs, too, just to be clear. <laughs> I do it right. I just uh, blew some more air in here and got a little more clean before I pop this out. Next, in order to get the front support out, you're going to come down here and you see these little slots right here and here? Just gently pry up there and it'll pop off. You're just trying to break the, break the bond of the seal. Sorry for the mess around here today. <laughs> Got it. See? 
Now I'm going to grab the uh, stator support here, the part that I'm touching, pull straight up and the front support will come right out. Find somewhere to sit it. <laughs> I'm actually going to flip it over here. Alright, generally on this thing, all you want to check is to make sure the snap ring hasn't popped out here. If it does, if it did, then replace the front support assembly. And uh, check your one-way clutch. Okay, it's tight clockwise and loose counterclockwise. That's good. If you see any metal shavings coming out here, replace the one-way clutch. Once again, this is just a warranty repair. It's not a full overhaul. So at this point this point, uh, probably off camera here, I'm going to go ahead with both hands and grab this shaft and pull straight up and the, and the uh, whole uh, internals will come out with it. Before you take that out, come down here and notate the positioning of the uh, drum here, about one finger width. Uh, you want to make sure you get it down about that far again, otherwise it's not fully seated when you go back together with it, the whole drum thing here. Without further ado, like I said, just grab this and pull straight up. And then I'm going to take the internals, flip them over, and set them in this hole here. But before I do that, oh, oh, it's already out. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I uh, set it straight up like it was in the case, but because before I want to flip it over here, I want to get the A clutch off. It's so A clutch friction plates. All right, now I'm going to flip this over into that hole. But let me show you one real quick thing first. You see the snap ring on the edge here? Uh, notate that. You're going to want to remove that once it's upside down. So I just wanted to show you now. There's the opening on it. It is upside down. Make sure that bearing's good there. Look at the uh, ring gear teeth here. Make sure they're not damaged. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pop that snap ring out. Utilizing a pick rotating the drum until I see the opening on the snap ring. Right there, you see that? Now I can go in there with a pick and pop it out. There you go. Now I'm going to remove the garbage can and cut it. Just grab right here. And there's your waste bin. Do keep in mind there's a bearing that's going to fall out right here. Hear that? Inspect the garbage can for burn marks, uh, for wear, where the clutches ride. This one looks good. Next, I'm going to come back here and grab this cylinder here and pull straight up, and it'll come out with the uh, shaft there, the input shaft. Inspect the ceiling rings for uh, damage. None noted. Bearing, good shape. This is a repair. I will not be pulling this apart here. It's a warranty repair. There we go. And grab it like this. That is your CDF drum. You want to get the number three sun shaft out of here. Try to do this with one hand. Oh, I'm going to need both. Actually, let me try this one handed again here. I've got it flipped over on this angle here. I'm going to drop the assembly. There we go. There's your number three sun shaft. And look at that. The ceiling ring is flung off of there. This is definitely got a rotated bushing. This is the bushing in here that rotates. See that big long bushing? It rotates and blocks the fluid pressure passage ports. Alright, so Ford has a special tool kit. Once you get the clutches out of here to push all three pistons down, CD and F. And uh, then you can swap everything over, install new piston seals on the new drum, and uh, reinstall. Alright, 
I hope this video was helpful. Um, have yourselves a great day. Good luck to you if you're doing this yourself. Um, otherwise, I hope it was entertaining. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.